Hello there everyone and welcome back to Old World Blues, the A to Z series, which we're playing as the giant Mojave chapter. Looking pretty thick, and we like him thick. But Ciphers of the West. Our expedition finally made it to and have contacted us. There they were able to fill us in on whom the Ciphers were in actuality. They would explain the groups of origins. And how the weeks following the Great War, a group of scientists and soldiers left the atomic laboratory Los Alamos, New Mexico, and wandered north with a band of other survivors looking for a place of relative safety. They assumed that they were the only civilized people left since everyone else they encountered attacked them, trying to take their food, water, and clothes. When they discovered one of the ancient pueblos at Mesa Verde, they decided to set up camp there. The group carried only a limited amount of technology with them, the soldiers had pistols and rifles, and the scientists carried one barely working computer, enough parts to build several water makers and a crude wind turbine to power them, several lead lined boxes containing enriched uranium, and a small supply of medicine. The rest of the band had a variety of miscellaneous gear which mostly contributed for group use. A decade later, the group began to fall. Fearing that the technology of the old world would be forever lost, the scientists began painting and carving electronic schematics into the walls of the pit. At the same time, they insisted that the science be emphasized while educating the village children so that their descendants would understand how to use the schematics. Because they are steeped in the sciences from a very early age, the villagers tend to use a lot of science terms to express themselves. That's occasionally confusing. Cryptic way of speaking caused them to be dubbed ciphers by educated wasteland, uh, wasteland dwellers, who thought they might be speaking some type of code. The ciphers merely shrugged and accepted the name. As the year passed, the ciphers forgot their discipline, scientific roots, and became more concerned with everyday survival rather than meaningless scientific theories. When it comes to electronic devices and weapons, the ciphers know more about it, how it works, and why it works. The symbols say, put this and this together, and then this happens. Why? Who knows? As long as the numbers are right, who cares? With the information is occurred on the history and relation between us and this group of the brother team we have sent, I was sent a dispatch for her to bird retrieval. Like us in many ways. Manpower. Ex uh, Army XP. Great. So basically they missed the entire Legion War, which makes no sense. We went all the way. We were literally bordering the ciphers. And then they contact us again. Doesn't make any sense. But we're doing and scavenging Vault 21 currently, which is going quite well. I think we covered this last time. So if you're going to do this one, please go ahead. And we, we also are going to do Steward Vegas. So if you're going to do this one too, please go ahead as well. I ask for no more. As we are waiting to core as much as humanly possible here. Because, as you can see, as per usual in these Old World Blues A to Z campaigns, we have no manpower. Luckily, we are at peace right now. And the California state is at war with New Re no, Well. Vault City, basically. And who else are we at war with? Quite a few people. Oh my gosh. Even the Washington Brotherhood? Are they an alliance or something? The Northern League. I guess it war with Arroyo as well. Um, better than than us. And we got a little bit of uh, caps too. Uh, raise the budget. We're done with this one. Traders from Hawaii. Stonks, yes please. And we, I want more stability and political power. Because my god, we're going to need a lot of that stuff. Um, we can close out of this one. We're not going to sell a lot of people down yet. Political actions. No, no. Science. I guess we could. We have the money for it right now, I suppose. Settlements, I think we're pretty much done with them. Uh, political life, the community, yeah, political power is still pretty good to get. Cultural assimilation, I do not want to increase resistance. Definitely not. Military and war, Elijah's Great Search, and we did can formations. Hello, Realm of Diana, what are you doing? And up next, well, the color of personality would be nice. Sure. Well, where, where are you guys at? Oh, you're still down here. Okay, that's fine. Justify war goals. All right, so Diana, 160 days. Hopefully, no one goes to war between us and now and then. You are all the way down here. Um, do you have a faction? No. That's good to see. Great confederation, huh? Uh, let's see. You know what? We'll do it like this. Let them go. Hopefully no one else goes to war with us. I mean, we're still going to try to make divisions and whatnot, but as you can see, with no manpower, it's a little difficult. Um, Paladin patrols, that's fine. And I guess we could use riders if we really wanted to for knights. But we're already going down this other way, and we get better uh, combat width if we use it like this too, so. Hey, finally, better power armor. Steward of Vegas, great. And I read this one to the node ghost. If you want to do this, please go right ahead. Bop. And we close out this one too. But yeah, overall, I'm having a pretty good day. Hope you're having a good day. Yeah, I get day, good day, good day. I hope we, uh, if I ever seem kind of rage, it's because I'm tired of being frustrated. But that's pretty much what I like. Last episode, Kingman, nice, good stuff. Um, slowly, 90% is pretty good. Hey, 100% over here. 
93? I mean, I probably shouldn't spend all the political power now, but whatever. Um, 96? Oof, expensive, yo. Uh, dough rollers? About two months. The ghost of the past. As a brother to Paladins began to secure the villa outside the Sierra Madre, they faced hostile forces for the first time. The sound of creaking metal echoed throughout the villa like a distorted scream. One. Other knights looked down at his chest, only to see a ghastly arm protruding from it, wriggling around in the air as if trying to grasp more flesh. Twitching violently, it pulled back the other worldly force, and the knight fell to the ground as he vomited blood inside his own helmet. It stood there, hunched over its kill with arms wide and reaching for the dead man. Suddenly, it twitched, it twitched in place, letting out a terrible screech and shitters turned to face the group. Once men, these creatures seemed to have thrived through the use of suits, Elijah recalls from Big MT. Although their poor design led to the cloud eventually leaking into the suits and changing them for the worst. It took ages for our paladins to strike down the first of these, extremely durable despite their small figure. Their visors glowed a deep green, like haunted shade, and its green breath streamed out of the filter in waves like smoke. We will learn their secrets. As we're here, we have uh, things we're building. It's all right. And we'll build up roads here too, eventually. Anything else here? Military signing bonuses? Absolutely. Not bad. And of course, we read this one last time, but my new order has fallen. Uh, upon this wasteland like a desert scarab on a sudden beam. From the dust to the old other world that was, I brought a new one. I shall carry forth the lessons of the Sierra Madre when we start reading about Mysteries of the Cloud. The cloud will blanket the sky here. You may smell in the co air, copper and sulfur, burns the lungs and seeps into the skin. The clouds an airborne toxin, spewed over the dead city of the Sierra Madre by the air conditioning and climate control systems inside the, Mira, the Sierra Madre Casino and Resort. Over the years, the clouds have only grown into a massive blood red fog that blankets the entire Sierra Madre. Von Gore, Dean Domino, claims to be an expert on the subject. I said that the cloud wasn't always here, it grew over the years, even without cars or factories to keep it pumping. Created as an experiment by the big MT ex executives. The cloud's a product of the Z43 Innovative Toxins plant located in the crater. When Frederick Sinclair, the mastermind of the Sierra Madre, came to Big MT for technology to purchase, he unwittingly signed a Faustian Pact. Apart from holograms and matter recombin recombinators, the scientists of Big MT would also place a cloud of the Sierra Madre, using the casino, villa, and its inhabitants as guinea pigs in its experiments. Sinclair likely saw no other way to get the technology he needed. He was already teetering on the brink of bankruptcy when he started negotiating with the executives, of course. He was not informed that he would be receiving more than just harmless prototypes. The cloud, if used right, could possibly serve as a great weapon of harness. Its abilities and how it can be used to preserve other old world relics and cleanse them. At the same time, make it perfect for Elijah's ambitions for the Brotherhood. With this, we could wipe the slate clean. Yes, we could. If we really wanted to. And to walk the cloud. The ghosts of the people of the Sierra Madre haven't rotted away entirely as a count of their suits, but they couldn't keep the cloud out to get all together. Stepped in. Decayed them from the inside, but stopped working just short of killing them. The underlying design flaws in their suits could be used as a counterexample to drive my own work, give me an idea what I could use to seal our power armor from the cloud. And as much as I like this one, like I said last time, we're definitely going to go with a sacrifice of ours. Inexplicably, the opening of the Sierra Madre, sealed since the warp, is tied directly to the preceding Gala event. Cracking it takes many hands in many different positions. Kicking off the Gala event with Brother Manpower will carry a grave cost, but I can't gamble on wastrel stupidity. That's right. Composite forces? Cool. For sure, hydraulics. Cool. Um, uh, it's a little out of town, but I don't care. Yeah, I got dollar rollers done. Nice. Didn't one of these also reduce uh coring costs or something? I mean, it was down here. HP, yeah, army. That's pretty good. Hey, look at that. River attack. Bonus when entrenched. Hey, political power. Oh. It's not bad. Actually, some of these are actually relatively decent. Alright, does this help with costs at all? Eh, a little bit. Not very much, but a little bit. 156. Also, this is actually good populations. Like 9,000, 8 to 9,000, 10,000. It's actually pretty good overall. Core, Fall of Unity. We cored quite a bit, especially with Flagstaff being cored. That's a huge one. Oh, 50,000 people. My gosh. Half of them were slaves. 12,000 is pretty good too. I want Prescott next though. 815. So we need a lot of political power now. Let's see. Find a radio broadcasting or bro programming. We need that one too.
Takes a bit of power to make political power. What do you want? Law enforcement? non core manpower? Sure, why not? We could probably really use that one. Sacrifice of ours? To walk the cloud. Please tell me we still just you guys. Because we still have no manpower. Oh! California State's slowly winning. Yeah, maybe some oversight wise. Should be able to win any war we get thrust into, but you never know. Ah. And they attack us. Look at that. Hope they don't try to naval invade us and there's no other way they can really get to us. Other than that, we should be okay. Hollow rifle, huh? Talk the cloud. Nice. A trained dog. All you need to do or to get what you want out of someone is a leash. Is a leash and a collar. The gala event. The hour is at hand. With all pieces now in position, the Sierra Madre can be sung to life. The old world's last gasp. The town is coming to wipe the slate clean. Cleanse the world of the upstart nations and bring about a new world bound to my bleeding sun. I'll smother the republic with my bloody cloud, reduce it to ash with spirits in the sun. And when it's done, being again, dredge up some progress out of what's left. Nice. Good. Got a lot of scary bots, don't we? A trained dog or scouts. I've uh, been able to locate a rather useful little beast in the form of a particular deranged, yet useful, super mutant. Handpicked by the master to serve in a super mutant army, Dog's job was to fetch new humans to be turned into super mutants. Dog was crushed by the master's defeat and eventually found his way to the Sierra Madre where he found him. It should be easy to take advantage of his need for a master figure in order to enslave him like a beast. Dog is extremely loyal and will follow the commands issued by his master's voice to the letter, even when it puts him in danger. It is ultimately the brother's duty to see the old world, to use the old world to protect the new one after all. The beast will serve me well. Do what you must. Mm, the sun swallowing serpent. Oh. And from the starred Helios, I will coil up the sky and swallow the sun in whole. The cruel city of Mars born again will be skewered by the spears of my solar kingdom, and the eyes of Kaiser will be black Ikwad before the sun swallowing serpent. Oh, that sounds not bad. Oh, I asked to join the Western Brotherhood to steal. Well, I think. Didn't they die? We're on Scribe, so. Ah, hey, we can go to Initiates if we really wanted to. Optimize training. Or trading. There, put it far. The Sierra Madre never actually quite actually opened its doors and, uh, to the public, really. Why, getting to the actual casino is so difficult. In order for us to get the technology within, we'll need to trigger the gala event, a set of pre-existing conditions outside the casino around that will cause the doors to open. With the paladins prepared, they begin to make work trying to trigger the event, fighting out the ghost people around the villa all the while, eventually, when we station one paladin at each end of the villa and had them perform corresponding actions that caused what we were looking for. Uh, can I coordinate with Phoenix? Yeah, oh, absolutely. A voice uh, could be heard over the intercom as the gates of the Sierra Madre open. Everyone, please may I have your attention, guests and residents of the villa alike. I ask you to step outside and look up to the night sky. It's the moment you've been waiting for, the reason why we're all here. The gala event, the grand opening of the Sierra Madre Casino. You are the ones who have made this momentous occasion possible, and for that we thank you. So to raise your glass in celebration, let music fill the streets, fireworks light the sky, and promise of new beginnings fill your heart. No matter what your fortune, no matter what your cares, let go this night and begin again. I suggest you hurry, though. The gates of the Sierra Madre are open, but only for a brief time. After that, the doors will close for the evening's festivities, and it won't open again till morning. It's my only chance to see what lies within. Oh boy. How many casualties have they taken? 5,000. We've lost how many? Not even 100. A molecular assembly. The long road from the Big Empty had led me to this. Limitless prosperity in the old world hubris. Matter or recombination. The secret treasure of the Sierra Madre. Spears of shining memory. The Sierra Madre is scourged by ghosts, holograms bearing the faces of the, of the deceased, sandals bearing a luminous defensive array, shining swords of sorrow. Yeah, as much as I want worst part at this point, we need to lift the fire. Anything else? No? Okay. If that's the case, record North Phoenix. How about South Phoenix? 159. Woo! Boy, that's expensive. Rat. 
Pirates. Do we actually have manpower finally? <gasps> Do we actually have manpower? Just got a core Flagstaff and a huge chunk of Arizona population wise. How about Yuma? Yuma would be a pretty good at core too. All of Arizona is pretty, oh, well, at least this part of Arizona is pretty well populated. But even that part of Arizona doesn't seem too bad. California State is really winning on the West Coast, so uh, they're, they're trying. Crap ton of divisions. 7,000 manpower. Fighting the Timberline. Yeah, I think California's going to win in the end. Big MT is a great discovery. Created Big MT, the Y0 Research Center, the development of the Sierra Madre vending machines was bankrolled by Frank uh, Frederick Sinclair. The devices he commissioned were intended not just as vending machines, but as emergency dispensers, supplying food and resources uh, to ration out in the event of a nuclear holocaust. Although Sinclair described them as a means for self-sufficiency for the Madre, others felt that they were a means to ensure that any money spent, many money spent at the casino would be lining Sinclair's pockets, especially with a ban on all other vending machines. For his employees, the vending machines felt like a company store. They could barely afford anything with a modest amount of chips they received along with their paycheck. At the heart of the Sierra Madre vending machines is a revolutionary pre-war technology that never achieved much commercial success outside. Although it had the potential to stop the great war if it had, the vending machine itself is a contained, self-contained matter transformation device. It can recreate any item limited by templates stored in its memory. Emergency codes can be used to unlock additional templates for medical parts, supplies, or other restricted items by using the Sierra Madre chips and the alloy they are made from as a battery and source of raw material for the created goods. It can also take certain shapes and transform them back into Sierra Madre chips. That's cool. Now, the chips are not some form of nanotech feedstock, but simple alloys of common and fissionable elements, which can be easily manufactured out of common junk. The machines use nuclear fission to process the material, not only to tools, but edible food and even prescription chems. The machines demonstrate that civilization was on the cusp of unimaginable prosperity when the bombs fell, a truly great height from which to fall. This technology can build a nation. Wow! Look at all that XP we get. Fantastic. Or not XP, but factory output, I should say. And there they went. So, are you going to attack again? Are you at... Okay, yeah, they're going to attack again. Okay, then. No manpower. That's good. We got hollow rifles. Uh, I already forgot. Did I? No, we didn't have that. Darn it. I want to see if we had bird or bird or not. No, we don't. T-51B, huh? It's fine. It's whatever. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, Better according to creation. Oh, there you go. Alright. Maybe one more time? Yes? No? Maybe so? What remains? Death incarnate. That is a Sierra Madre's true form in a place filled with nothing but death and despair. Little remains. But those who drops are like wicked starlight. Unkillable men who stalk the hearts of the casino and vending machines capable of making something from almost nothing. These are the gifts led to us by the ghosts of the Sierra Madre. Putting Holotech to use. Within the Sierra Madre, there are several locations which we cannot easily access even after triggering the Gala event. Specific doorways and corridors locked off to us. Elijah would be able to circumvent this through careful application of one of his recent inventions. The Hollow Rifle. His modification of the LAER uses hologram technology from the Y0 facility as well as National Electric's weaponized hologram emitters in order to bypass these defenses. Seeing the effectiveness of these designs in the Sierra Madre has made Elijah curious of the possible application of the Wasteland. It's important, always important to iterate on design. Captured Oswald's bunker. Sun blotting, splitting Noma. The application of the cloud are inspiring, weapon like unlike any other. Rust bidding Noma, swallowing the sun. Could wipe the slate clean, could have cast out into the wastes. It's tempting. Can only help but dwell on the thought of it, a quiet world all my own. It'll be a, a lesser men to resist, fortunate that it's fallen into reliable hands. Very true. I think we have all of Arizona, don't we? You're not part of Arizona, are you? No. South Utah. What remains? A notable aspect of the interior of the Sierra Madre is the presence of holograms. Ghostly specters of souls that died the day the bombs fell, under the name Hologram Project. They created the Big MT by the Big MT Company at the Z38 Light Wave Dynamics Research Facility under license from Friedrich or Frederick Sinclair. The initial research and development was success, creating 3D human figures, including a replica of Sinclair's Love Vera Keys. Sinclair wanted to take the project one step further, creating holograms with the defensive capabilities. The Big MT refused to do to the cost of such an endeavor. Sinclair then turned to the National Electric, a rival company who signed an exclusive contract with Sinclair to create 
Working from technology already developed in Big MT, they succeeded creating holographic security guards that could patrol restricted areas and attack intruders via laser beams. Due to intensive energy requirements, holograms were linked with several nearby hologram emitters, only allowing them a limited area of travel. Elijah believes he can rework the energy consumption of the hollow emitters to make them usable outside of the Sierra Madre Casino, effectively giving him an army that cannot be hurt or get weary of the ultimate weapon. Invulnerable soldiers of light, capable of withstanding any attack. Cool. Uh, you know what, let's not do that one next. I want to do the California one just in case we need to justify them. I don't think we will. Ooh. Yeah, I think we got everybody here in uh, Arizona. Strong right flank. Very strong. Love it. Military engineering. Yeah, I don't think we can just find it, can we? Oh, yeah, we can. Retreat from Rainbow Wells. We believe that we lost. Not only did we lose a bra, they decided to go through with our pockets while we weren't looking. All supplies are gone and all the corpses picked clean. The boys are going to talk about the attack raid on the dead mounts for days. What? Huh? I think that's bugged. I don't remember ever seeing that before. There you go. And then we'll do this one next. Oh man, they're forcing the defense. Oh boy. Oh man. Oh, uh, ooh. Not sure if I can agree with that one there. Socialism. And what's next? Quinin? Quinine? Something like that? There. Fire Archimedes. Because he can. We actually have manpower. Look at all those fighters we've got. Never mind, no more manpower. Harness the cloud, if we control the cloud, we control the Mojave. It is a remarkable weapon, if used in the right way. Here within the Sierra Madre, uh, it has served its purpose, but in order to facilitate the use of this outside of the casino, we'll need to find a way to transport to specific localized areas without having to spread it to everywhere in between. It's no, no use if we have to hurt our own soldiers just as much as enemies after all. The development of new rockets based on the replicant design will help us to, uh, Give us the ability to spread the cloud to our enemies in a way that we can benefit from. The cloud will be the brother's ultimate weapon. Strategic bombing, nice. Just bomb them harder. Oh, look at that, nice. Begin again. Eh, okay. Uh, begin again in the night. Let's sway again in the night. Your arm on my shoulder, your cheek against mine. Where can we go? When will we find what we know? Sentimental garbage. Let's get this over with. Excuse me. Well, we might need this for defensive territory. Beautiful. <coughs> and more chaos. And more fighters. Realism, cool. More initiative. Ah, oh, there keys, less performances. <coughs> oh, he's probably going to. In order to break into the vault at the bottom of the Sierra Madre, we'll need one last thing. It turns out that the vault was programmed to only open to her voice, something which may prove particularly difficult to obtain, considering the degradation of the holotapes we have on her singing. As we continue to search the casino for a way into the vault, we gradually learn more of Vera Key's life. Vera Keys was the stage name of a pre-war starlet for whom Frederick Sinclair built the Sierra Madre. The young starlet made a name for herself in Hollywood for her impeccable beauty and for appearing in a number of poorly written romances that grew, drew large box office crowds or grouse of critical reception. <coughs> Dean Domino, an old flame of eras, introduced her to Sinclair after seeing that she had caught his eye, but things are never simple. Dean had grown, resentful of the other man, and decided to take everything from him, and Vera had been coerced and agreed to help with his, with his plan because of past history. When she later started to get cold feet, he secured assistance by blackmailing her with evidence of indiscretions and addictions, tomatics and super synthetics. What we did not know was that the addiction stemmed from her taking the drugs as pain relief, a refuge from a terminal illness. <coughs> Excuse me. The shame of betraying Sinclair was percolating to the surface of even her public persona, Vera, overcome with guilt, told Sinclair of the plot. Although he had long known of her and Domino's intentions, he had managed to bear the fact, but this knowledge blackened Sinclair's heart and he turned the vault into a trap for Domino, making it impossible to leave so that he would have to have an eternity to, to contemplate his betrayal. 
So Sinclair eventually relented and attempted to return to the casino to its pre-war purpose, or original purpose. But it proved to be impossible. It had been built simply too well. He did what he could and hoped that after all, the doors of the vault locked, the Sierra Madre broadcast the casino's emergency signal would all bring from the authorities bring help. And like the vault's treasure, Vera continued searching for a way into the vault. A voice given shape. On the night the bombs dropped, the op night of the grand opening, the casino locked its doors and security system systems activated. The holograms, due to a critical mistake, began to massacre the guests as a result of a faulty programming, and Vera was trapped in a room with only one way out. She scrawled her last words like go on the wall and took an overdose of the chem cocktail, which had both saved her from and caused so much pain already. A malfunction with the emergency broadcast caused the Gala's events broadcasting being routed via the emergency announcement system to save money, caused the advertisement for the casino's grand opening to be sent across the airwaves rather than the intended rescue broadcast. For over two centuries, Vera's voice would be acting as bait. Not for the rescue Sinclair had hoped for, but for potential treasure hunters, luring them to their deaths, urging them to come to the Sierra Madre, a place where they could begin again. The earthly remains of Vera could be found in a chair in her, suit, in her suite. Still wearing her gala dress, her last moments were recorded by the security equipment making the holograms patrolling the area as well as the hologram in the villa's fountain take form after her while playing what appears to be her last words consisting of a plea to Sinclair to let her go. Oh boy. The hologram in Vera Key's room is notable for the fact that it recorded her final words, storing parts of her mind within itself as an impression of her, a memory. El Elijah would be the one to realize that she could be used to open the vault, hacking into hollow emitters and enslaving the digital memory, forcing Vera's last words to come with him to the bottom of the Sierra Madre to open the vault that was meant to protect her. I will have what is owed to me. We brought the broken voice of Vera Keys down to the lower levels of the facility to finally bring what at last what we've been waiting for, the vault. She would, as asked, open the door only for us, open the door for us using Vera's last words. The vault itself was small, only a few small rooms, well stocked, of course, with food. Medical, medical supplies, and the last of Sinclair's riches. There were gold bars here, a small nation's worth of gold, it's certainly more than the NCR after their gold reserves were destroyed by their brotherhood years ago. With the hologram technology and Vera's digital specter, the vending machine technology, the hollow rifle, the cloud, now his gold reserve, the Helios Brotherhood is on the precipice of becoming something great. After all this time, the Sierra Madre, mine. Fantastic. Do not mind that we were not doing so great over here. Please don't pay no mind. Oh, look, it's came that one. Oh, we're out of manpower again. Who clutches at old crowns? Yeah, we're trying to do that one, but. Uh, there's this one, too. Go. Cool. Oh, you guys are done. Wrong. There you go. California State's decrypted. Or the cipher is the defense is online. That's fantastic. War is not going to last too much longer against these guys, hopefully, because Paradise is pretty much on the front line. This is great. NCR is good. Well, NCR is done, I should say. They're not good, but they're done. Western Grand Canyon. Oh, good. Moctezuma withdraws. Oh, look at that. Moctezuma's army's come and gone. The borderlands are in ruins. Plumes of smoke dot the skyline. The sky has been truly. The attack has been truly devastating. To, uh, the area. I should not have clicked on that. And it'll take some time to recover from the attack. Oh, recover we must. Well, what the hell are we doing? We're still doing this? God dang it. Increasing our power. Sometimes it's great to have, sometimes it's just really not great to have, you know? It's kind of a mixed bag. You just never know. Happy February, though, everybody. Moab Zar is great, and, and it's all gone. Or, I should really say, under new administration. It's like 40 cases. No. Kill yourself. All right. There you go. See what you can do. Um. Here, go here. here go here. Funsies, do that too. Camera. How they gone? Nice! Didn't think they took that long. Hello? Oh, they're war of the 80s? Well, they deserve nothing. Bro!
you just gypped us out of our territory. Uh, 105. Well, looks like I'm going to go to war with the 80s. Do I want to do that? Increase the border with them. Yeah, uh, I don't know. That's, a, that's another big border here. No, we don't have to go to war with California, too, either. They don't go to war with us, in all honesty. Huh. So we go to war with the 80s. Can we take them on? Can we do well against them? We would need more divisions, for sure. Uh, yeah. Moctezuma is just annoying. With the power. Civilizing mission. What else we got here? <clears throat> Twelve thousand is not bad. You must pretty good too. Feminism? Now why would we research that? Port Apache, San Pedro, sure. Arizona. Oh, that's pretty good too. Let's have to wait for that one now. And hey, you just gotta be mean, don't you? Well, he we had more manpower for a little bit, but not anymore. Well, that is great search. Hmm. Finney Knights and the Timberline. We can go to New Vegas next. I think we might be worthwhile. Wow, that's a expensive. Wow. Well, we don't have to take out California. I mean, they took out all the West Coast, pretty much. I don't really want to mess with them at this point now. We got plenty of money, though. Fantastic. I hope you get nothing but resistance. NCR. Basically NCR. Oh, we got these guys done first. Okay. These guys shouldn't take too long. Vegas. Thank you. This is prevention. Look at that. Fantastic. And I guess we, we have read this before. Soon this is completely great ahead. Bro, what do they want? Wait, what? They want the max and expedition. Huh? Strange, but okay. How long would it take for us to just find these guys? I'm okay with that. This is very weird, but you know what? Very, very, very weird. Hey, look at that legion. Nice. That's why I wanted it. I need the political power. Do you want to crown? Great. Helios, brother, has prospered, of course. What'd you get for trying to kill us? Piece of garbage. Look at that manpower. Oh, yummy. Um, banking. 
Because of that, I assume that the NCR would want to come kill us. I really hope not. But I'm more than certain that they will want to. I really don't want to fight them. I'd rather just fight these guys. Can't believe we actually have manpower. Look at that. Fantastic. Tombstone? To oh, yeah, we had to score two sun. This one's next. Why is Joe? Multilateral alliances. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, and there we go. Identification papers, caps income. Let's see what happens. They don't seem particularly strong right now. You guys are probably get the most. Can we not do that thing there? Okay, well, whatever. Oh, wait, the cooldown for Archimedes probably still. How dare you take our territory? That's fine. Hello? Guys, you cannot leave your back open like this. What a bunch of bunker kids. You can't leave your back open. My god. Hello? Where'd you guys go? You went up there and didn't finish the job. What the heck? And the 80s went to war themselves. Oh, okay. Okay, buddy. Good. Oh, I guess come this way. Part it is. Love it. How much? They're not even close to They have only 19 divisions. What the heck? Have we killed them off that hard? Holy cow. Tombstone. Three roads. Eagle Rock. That's good. Savings tech. Lots more money. Of all places. Texas, what the barnacles is wrong with you? You know what, you want this part of New Mexico? Fine. That's not even Texas. That's literally not even Texas. What a bunch of greedy people. What is this monstrosity? Holy cow. Are you gonna do something or what? Let's go. Antibiotics. More HP. It's always good. Pasteurization. Canaan. So they dead yet? Range. So y'all are in a small little line with each other. That's fun. I don't really care. You're all gonna die anyways. Alright, so 
that you guys will be placed here. And here. And one arm just uh, slug themselves into there immediately and beat the crap out of them. And one to go here and here. We're gonna let, let the 80s territories get all sorts of sundered and whatnot. So we don't really care. I wonder why they decided to make it all a lot of division attrition goes down. Oh, and there goes the manpower. No ugliness. It's okay. All right, this looks like it's going to be actually a pretty challenging one to get done. There's an open board here too, but we'll see. You guys are gonna have the Archimedes push in. They didn't need manpower. Oh, they're actually even allied with Lone Trees. No. I don't quite see Lone Trees existing anymore, so. Move, 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 move. Fast, faster, faster. You're not going north. There's literally no point for you to go north. Navigation. get around there so fast? Did you just like slip in there or something? Mass surveillance, pretty normal. Uh, attack. Mutual funds. I invest those in my, myself. Come on, sorrows, die. God. Could you be any worse at this? Holy crap. Oh my. There you go. There you go. Clean them up. They're annoying. Look at their expert health fires, though. Alright, not bad. Jesus Christ, Wyoming. I'm thinking that looks pretty good overall. I think we've done very, very well in this campaign. It wasn't always easy, but we managed to do it. Stupid California State. But hey, we're the Helios brother. We're looking pretty good, pretty nice and thick. And yeah, we're looking pretty awesome, so. Oh, wow. Northern Frontier. And then California State. California is a bunch of bullies. But regardless, I think I'll end it there. I think I've thoroughly enjoyed this campaign. It's been a lot of fun. And next campaign, we're going to go to the play as Mojave Territory. So if you enjoyed this campaign, campaign, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. And have a tremendous Helios Brotherhood Elijah Restav. Your day.